guys really quick i just have some promo for you um these products are from gorgeous k hair she sent me over her lace tint her k oil drops and a pack of her lashes i actually used her lashes in this video and i used the oil to moisturize my breakdown under my wig it's very very important that you have a great moisturizer when you are wearing your wigs um yeah i will link all her information down below if you guys want to check her out okay you guys getting right into the video um right now i'm just pressing out the hairline just to make sure everything is sleek and flat and i'm um, just prepping my wig for the styling process and this is just how everything is looking after everything is pressed out so we're going to get into the layering process. Um, I am not a professional. I did not go to cosmetology school. So um, I basically just learned my layers um, by just trial and error. So if I do have any cosmetology students or just people who are experts with layering, um, comment some tips down below so we can all learn together. I'm always open to learning new techniques. Basically, I just took a top piece from the wig and I'm using my razor comb just to um, cut a couple inches off. I measure where I want the layer to start, like on my face, and I wanted the layers to kind of um, start by my cheeks. So that's where I measured that first layer. And then for the second, Part. I'm just gonna take that section that's right under the layer that right under the first layer that I cut and I am just going to um, cut that a little bit lower than the first layer just so there's a gradient effect in the layers and there isn't any choppiness And then I'm just going to comb everything together and um, basically just cut everything together now. <laughs> I know that I've seen people like comb the hair in a diagonal. <sighs> you guys, I'm trying my best to explain this. It's really, really hard to explain. But basically, um, that whole section in the front, you want to comb it like how I'm doing, like in a diagonal. Take that razor comb and just slide that comb right down the whole thing just so like I said you can get a gradient effect in your layers and I'm just basically going to do the same exact thing on this other side I want to speed it up so you guys could just watch the process So now we're gonna get into curling. I always section the two front pieces and then I work on the back first. I don't really layer the back. I don't really feel like it's necessary. But yeah, I'm just gonna take really small sections with my Nano Silver Ceramic Curling Iron. I can't really remember if this is one inch or half inch. I think it's one inch. I think it's the biggest one. And I'm basically going to curl the back of my hair and pin it up. The way I curl is um, I try to curl in different directions just so the hair isn't clumped up together. So you'll see me curling under and then over and then under and then over until I get to the very top. And yeah, that's basically all I do for the back. After everything is curled in the back, this is just how everything is looking. And I'm going to seal everything in with my Sebastian Shaper Spray. And I'm going to let these pin curls kind of sit overnight. Going into the front of the hair, um, I'm going to start at the very top and basically curl everything under on that entire side. I'm not going to... I'm not going to do the under and over on the sides. I'm just going to curl the sides in one direction. And you always want to curl away from your face.
these little silver pins I actually got from Amazon. I'll link them down below if you guys are interested. Um, they came in like a hundred in a pack, so it was really, really affordable. I think it was like, don't quote me, but I think it was like under $10 for all of these clips. Okay you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is a, another install video. Today's wig is provided by You Nice Hair. So before I put on my wig cap, I'm actually not going to do the ball cap method today just because I honestly don't feel like it. Ball cap method is really, it's the professional way to do it, but you really, you really don't need it. In my opinion, actually when I first started installing frontal wigs, I was not doing the ball cap method at all because I didn't know how to do it. But yeah, so before I put on this cap, I want to just oil my scalp. You always want to keep your hair and your scalp moisturized at all times under your installs. Um, I'm going to be using the K Oil Drops by Gorgeous K Hair. Yeah, I'm going to try out these oil drops. They are, I'm not sure if they're growth oil drops or just moisturizing drops. Pretty sure they're growth oil drops. So this is how my breakdown is and I'm just really going to go in between my braids and just moisturize. The only thing about this is the cap can be so uncomfortable underneath, like, it can be tight. So I'm just gonna, gonna cut the back a little bit just so it isn't so tight. And I'm gonna spray my cap down to my hair so it doesn't move under my install how the wig looks in the inside. It did come with two combs in the front, one in the back, but I just took them out. Um, I'm gonna adjust my straps and see how everything is fitting. This size is a small, so I don't think I need to adjust it that tight. Yeah. See what I'm saying, you guys? You really don't need a ball cap. Like, this looks really good already. Um, I do have to tint it. And I'm gonna fix my part and put some concealer in my part anyway, but yeah, it looks it looks good. So to tint my lace, I found a new product. Now you guys know I rave about the even tint spray. They have another, they came out with another type of spray. This is a matte finish, and this is a different shade actually than the light warm brown I usually get. This one is called light brown, and I tested it on some, and even it even has this. The other one doesn't have this aerosol type can or whatever it is, that bead is that they put in stuff. I don't know. Yeah, so I'm very excited to try this out. I did test it out on a piece of paper towel and the color is like almost a perfect match to my skin tone. So I'm going to go in and spray this lightly on the lace. Okay, so I just went in lightly with it a little bit. It does kind of look dark like the other one. We'll see once um, everything's on my head. This is how everything is looking. This is how the hairline looks. I tried a new method with my plucking. Um, I went in and plucked dry. Like I didn't use any water like I usually do. And I think I really like how this new technique came out. Like I really, I really, really like it. So I am going to glue the wig down first and then I'll work on the curls. Um, I did a video like this maybe a few months back and it's doing really really well on my channel with a 5x5 closure wig. I dyed it jet black and I did these pin curls and I like cut it really really short like really natural. So I'm like let me do this again. Let me create that look with a frontal. So yes I did dye this hair jet black. I did pluck the hairline. Um, you will have to do some customization when you get the wig. That's with almost any company. Um, except mine. I customize all my wigs. So if you want a customized wig, <laughs> make sure you order from me. However, I have all my links to my business page down below. So I'm going to just install this really quick and yeah, I'll be right back.
okay guys so this is just how everything came out the hair is super super pretty full of body the layers are perfect i love how the install came out um yeah the links to units here will be down below make sure you check them out and yeah thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to leave me a comment and a like and i will see you guys in the next video bye